I want to ask you something about, um, you know, something that's been doing the rounds that has been quite controversial. Some people are actually calling for the ECB to hold government debt in perpetuity or even cancel it. That's illegal, but leaders could actually change the treaties. Is it something that we should really consider or talk about? No, I don't. I think it is not at all appropriate. I think uh, it is uh, something which... Uh, has no real meaning and would be a recipe for destroying the credibility of the signature of the, sta of the states and of the old treasuries and also the credibility of the central bank and of the currency. Uh, so uh, if you want to lose confidence of the, I would say, investors, savers, uh, the world over, you do that. And <clears throat> it was also recommended in the US, if I'm not misled, MMT, uh, so forth, and uh, I don't think at all that it is reasonable, again, uh, it works on the working assumption that the rest of the world will eternally trust the signature of the treasuries of the advanced economy and the uh, uh, credibility and uh, confidence you have in the central bank and in the currency. So it's naive. It is a recipe for catastrophe. I am very clear on that. How should we deal with all this debt? Is, is Again, is there a danger that actually to please markets, certain governments talk about austerity too soon? No, I mean, speaking of austerity, uh, when, when you have this level of, uh, of uh, additional debt doesn't seem to be very, very uh, appropriate. What we will have to do when, of course, we have swallowed the... Uh, extraordinary period where we are, and I hope very much that at the end of next year, with the vaccine, we will be in a very different universe. But we don't know yet, and we have to remain very prudent and cautious. But that being said, when we are over the pandemic, we will have to care for a combination of action which would permit the debt outstanding of the advanced economy to diminish progressively as a proportion of GDP. Even if it is at high level, the rest of the world, investors and savers in the advanced economy, in the rest of the world, will trust that it is sustainable if the debt outstanding as a proportion of GDP diminishes year after year, whatever the uh, starting level is. That, that would be a must. And I, I am still making the working assumption that we could swallow the debt hump, if I may, uh, in a way which would be non-catastrophic. Non-catastrophic meaning without uh, hyperinflation, without default, without catastrophes that are always very tough on the most vulnerable of our fellow citizens.